The curtain goes up at the United Nations on what the world hopes is the final act in the drama that was the Cuban crisis. The Soviet Union is represented by Khrushchev's special envoy, Russia's first deputy foreign minister, Vasily Kuznetsov. He is here to confer with Utant before the acting secretary general left for Cuba to arrange the dismantling of Soviet missile bases. Utant met separately with both Russian and United States representatives to iron out some preliminary details before his conferences with Castro. It is planned that observers from nations not allied with either side will supervise the removal of the sites. Then it is hoped the final curtain will fall. Neither Paris nor the rest of France is showing any great interest in President Charles de Gaulle's referendum on changing the laws governing the election of the French president. Despite pleas from parties of all political shades, the voters don't turn out in the numbers de Gaulle had envisioned. Just about 75% of the eligible electorate cast their ballots. But of those, General de Gaulle is backed by 61%. He had threatened to resign if the voters did not back his referendum to elect the president by popular vote and not by a selected college of 30,000 notables. It is a de Gaulle victory, but far from the overwhelming votes of confidence that he has been able to muster in the past. <music> President de Gaulle polls the smallest vote since he took over in 1958, but he looks on it as a personal victory.